Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm here with another ROM review, and this is the review of MIUI 1.6.3. And I recently flashed it and made a video of me flashing it using the QR code. And this is the review for that ROM. I haven't changed anything uh, from downloading because I wanted to keep it as natural as possible so you can see what it looks like once you download it. Uh, so our lock screen, our first of all, our on and off animation is there from the Cyanogen Mob series. And that's there. And we have our lock screen, uh, typical MIUI lock screen. If you wanted to open a certain application that is on the lock screen, you just press and hold that uh, sort of uh, application and drag it down, and it'll take you into the phone, uh, sort of phone uh, application. And that's that. And if you wanted to go into the messages, you saw the messages on the right side, and you just pull that down. So this is what the ROM looks like. This does not support landscape. Uh, it does have the analog clock. It does not use any part of uh, Sense UI at all, so you won't see the uh, typical Sense UI clock. This is all um, open source. Uh, so, and this is an AOSP, open source uh, Android project. And uh, so first of all, you notice that this ROM has uh, everything on the, on the home screen, and that's how it is, pretty much. There's no app drawer. Um, everything that you download from the market will go directly to the home screen and you drag it to whichever home screen you want if you wanted to add more home screens as you can see I've added nine and you can also add more if you wanted to uh, so there you go and that's how you add more if you want to take more you just hit the X right there and that'll take you take uh, that particular home screen away so um our pull down menu looks like this we had our date at the top we have our 3g logo our antenna and our time uh, i recently downloaded smart bench which is the only thing i did uh, download so i can run that later um, this is our notifications and we have our toggle uh, widgets which are here in the second side of the pull down and that has pretty much all of your toggles right there and um so, you know, going, first of all, sliding from screen to screen, it is very easy and smooth. This ROM is very smooth. Uh, it is very polished. And anyone who's used um, MIUI before, you know that it is a very polished uh, uh, ROM. Uh, if you have not used it before, you will be uh, pleasantly surprised at how much you like this ROM. There is no 4G, there is no 720p, and there is a couple bugs that you can find on the on the uh, XDA thread which will give you all the information about that but it's not many bugs in this ROM as I said it's pretty complete and it's a daily driver um, the icons are changeable you th this is how it comes when you download the ROM uh, but you can change your icon the look of the icons the skin of them by going to the uh, menu uh, and you go to launcher settings or regular settings if you go into launcher settings uh, that's where you can change how your transition effects are so we can go to page for example which is one of the really cool ones and it kind of just pages kind of fades out into a page uh, type thing and as you can see you saw how many there were there are a lot of them if you go and you know you can change your uh, you know your resolution and all that stuff if you go in the regular settings that is where you get the iOS esque uh, sort of a settings menu and which is, uh, MIUI is known for one thing that MIUI is known for that if you don't know already it is a uh, it takes a lot of the good parts of iOS and implement them into the ROM um, so if you have an iPod you can you, this will look familiar to you and as I said there's a ton of settings I remember when I originally flashed this ROM I literally spent um, almost two and a half hours just setting it up the way that I want it to be you can personalize everything as I said the skin uh, for your um, uh, your background, the skin for your icons, and everything like that. Um, so there's a lot that this ROM has to offer, and uh, you know it's pretty much up to you how you want to set it up. We have a bottom launcher here, which we can drag applications to or from. So if you want to drag that one from and replace it with this, we can. I think you can have up to five applications on your uh, bottom launcher, and uh, as you actually you can have more than that and I put six there so um, not sure how many you can put but that's pretty cool it's pretty simple on how to do it I showed you guys a dial dialer already but let me show you what the camera looks like 
the camera is very simple they very simplified the camera you have all of your settings uh, here which is um, you know you have quite a few of them color effects settings uh, delay uh, you have your video and burst as I said you don't have 720 video support but uh, the um, regular 480 is not that bad either I tried it out and it's not so bad you have your MIUI app which takes you um, pretty much gives you a direct link to their website uh, with news and information and updates and all that stuff so it makes it very easy this uh, very there this ROM is supported by the developers very much so so um, it's up and running and um, uh, you'll, you'll definitely be on top of things with this ROM uh, they have it pretty much laid out uh, you know uh, now they have their own. a lot of developers are doing their own apps to their website but this one is probably one of the better ones um, as you see the Android keyboard is there and uh, you know as you can see you have your little drag here and that's part of Android 2.3 and that's cool and that's the only uh, keyboard you have if you have if you wanted to get another one you can download it from XDA or from the market and the folders are really cool because you can see what which uh, which apps you put inside the folder uh, let me just back out of edit mode so I'm gonna see if I could drag that into the folder and as you can see it shows up there so you can put as many as you want in there and you can also name the folder and it won't say folder down there It'll, it can say whatever you want it to say and um, so edit mode as you just saw is you just hold on the screen a blank part of the screen and it'll go into edit mode and this is where you can edit uh, what you have on your home screen so you can drag say the music uh, application to there and it looks like we don't have enough room so let's see if we can go to a blank one and drag it and uh, the way you can tell if it fits is you see the these little cube boxes see how this one is just one that means that's going to take up one space this will take up the full screen so that's how you can tell that's one cool thing about the ROM the music player has uh, always been one of my favorites uh, of any ROM uh, it's it's really nice. This is the widget. The actual application is there when you actually tap on it. So it's a pretty big widget. Um, so you know it it does the lyrics of the songs and it does a bunch of other things as well. So it's pretty simplified and again well polished uh, as far as uh, uh, pretty much uh, music applications go. So you will not be lacking anything with uh, as far as music with this ROM. Um, they have a torch, uh, you know, it's a official torch, MIUI torch, and that works great. We have, you know, our download manager and our calendar and all that good stuff. And, uh, we have Google Talk, which is great, and I only have one friend. Uh, so we got that. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the smart bench. I'm going to run a quick smart bench, um, Actually, I, I'm going to just show you the scores from the last time I ran a smart bench, and uh, so I don't take up so much time uh, for the video. But yeah, you know, anyone who's um, who uses this ROM, you're going to definitely enjoy using it. It's one of the best ROMs out there. Uh, as I said, if you can deal with not having WiMAX or not having your 720p camera, then you probably want to deal with this ROM. It's it's very nice. It's very clean. It's very polished. Everything works on it. Um, can't say enough good things about it. Me personally, I don't like the fact that it doesn't have those two elements that I really like, but that will not prevent me from using it. I did an Android backup of this ROM, and I will be flashing to it every now and then whenever I want to have a change uh, to the ROM. So. Uh, very nice. The score that I got, I'll just let you know because I'm running out of time, was I got about a 700 to 800 uh, in productivity and on gaming index. So not the best score, but, you know, again, those scores don't really matter. I mean, if, if it's a smooth ROM, it's a smooth ROM. You can just tell. So uh, you'll have no problems playing any game that's out there now on it or running any application. So that being said, it is a very nice ROM. Um, if you guys are interested in checking it out, I will leave the link in the QR codes in the info section. Thanks for watching guys and go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. See you guys later.